So I was going through some paperwork this week and I ran across um, the letter of intent to serve with you, the people of Richmond Baptist as, as lead pastor. And I knew this date was coming. I wasn't sure when, but my start date was May 26, seven years ago this week. The journey of serving our Lord together has been different than any one of us could have imagined. Uh, even me, God has blessed his work in our church family in so many ways. He's taken us on, on journeys. Uh, it's been up and down. He's brought great staff together. He's brought new people into his, his kingdom um, through, our, through our various ministry. He's allowed us to develop maturing followers of Jesus Christ for our, our leadership uh, development course through the community for 11 groups that have been focusing on being missional and, and reaching into the community in various ways, in addition to the gathering together, connecting, and um, Bible study times together. In March of last year, we could visually see growth in our church, and then COVID hit, and life took a drastic turn. Not meeting in person has been so different, especially uh, since years have been spent to, to build our Richmond Baptist family through this idea and core of being relational, not just programmatic. I've struggled with what that looks like when we only see each other through, through a screen, if at all. Our worship went online, our our RB kids have gone online. Our, our community for 11 groups were online. Everything through Zoom. We've struggled with our building because of the ventilation. We continue to move forward in, 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 in the building and making the, our building a safe place. And I hope to be able to give you clear information within the next couple of weeks about what that will look like. Um, so keep coming back and checking for more information. This week we've learned that our COVID restrictions are, are going to be eased as long as some uh, goals are met along the way. We're going to be laying out a path forward so that we can meet safely and reach into our city with the life-changing love of Jesus Christ, and we'll be sharing that with you as well. I'm videoing from my office because I am so grateful to have spent these seven years with you, to be in this, this journey of faith together. I'm grateful for those years, for your support, for your commitment to working for God's glory in different ways, but the past only leads to the future. We can't just keep looking back and say what was and where we are, but where are we going to go? And it does change so much. But I do know this, we can't accomplish anything on our own. We have to rely on the Spirit for everything. In a primary way that we acknowledge that is praying. And so I want to talk about prayer in addition to being grateful for those seven years. A couple of weeks ago, we finished our All In series. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. And I was thinking about that when we were doing this series, and I was thinking in the context of prayer. And he might say, Pastor Don, there's nothing about prayer here. But I think there's everything about prayer. See, prayer is simply talking and listening to God. I think in here we see three perspectives of prayer. First is, is we get to talk to God about how great He is and gratefulness of His love for us and how much we love Him. And second, we pray about our relationship with others with our family members, with our church, with our government, with our co-workers, well, our neighbors. Our right relationship with God, based on His gift to us, allows us to offer that same grace to others. 
And the third perspective is, is implied. It's about ourselves. It's bringing our soul needs to him, our physical needs to him. We pray with the questions in our mind, like how is our conscious conscience? Um, what condition is our soul in? Are we in danger spiritually? Temptations maybe, emotionally, mental struggles, or whatever came to your mind when I mentioned that word danger? It's kind of this, what fears are present that we need to bring to our triune God. See, prayer isn't a science. It's heart and mind. And there's no perfect words. I recall times when I heard other people pray and I thought, if I could only pray like that, it felt so eloquent that God had to hear and respond, but that was so far from the truth. Eloquent words do not move God. He hears our hearts, not our words. So saying something just right doesn't make it happen. It actually kind of makes it all wrong because God is saying, just be yourself. Just talk to me. We're created in God's image. He knows that he has made us that way. And so we can just talk to him. It doesn't need to be eloquent and there is no perfection. It's just talking. I personally find music as a, a great way to share my heart with God. And many times the words that I hear lead to, to reflect a, a little deeper on who God is and how he's involved in my life. I've been listening to a song for a few years now. The song is called A Mighty Fortress. The verses say this, Our God is a consuming fire, a burning holy flame with glory and freedom. Our God is the only righteous judge, ruling over us with kindness and wisdom. A mighty fortress is our God. A sacred refuge is your name. Your kingdom is unshakable. With you forever we will reign. Our God is jealous for his own. None could comprehend his love and his mercy. Our God is exalted on his throne high above the heavens forever. He's worthy. In the verse, uh, the chorus says, and we will keep our eyes on you. We will keep our eyes on you so we can set our hearts on you. Lord, we set our hearts on you. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians uh, 14 that prayer is both mind and heart. Heart and understanding, just like singing, is both words and understanding. And so when we think about our, our lives, we think about taking all of it to God and just trusting Him. I'm, I'm going to put the, a link to a YouTube uh, version of this song um, in, into this email so you can go and listen. You can listen to those words and maybe they will touch your heart where you can speak to God in a way that is meaningful to you as well. So thank you for the past and I'm looking forward to the future, to what God has for us as we rely on him. Let's continue to go to him in prayer, knowing that he is the one who empowers us to accomplish anything.